we're gonna have fun with fruits and veggies. We're actually gonna make art with them. We're not gonna carve them. We're going to use them to make stamps to stamp on paper using paint. So I brought an assortment of fruits and veggies today and we're gonna see what kind of fun shapes we can make and put on this paper. All right, one thing I got is a bell pepper. I'm hoping that when I cut it, it looks like a clover pattern. So we're gonna see what I get when I cut this. All right, so now I have a clover pattern and I don't want this stuff to get in the paint. I just want it to be the outline. So I'm gonna kinda cut that other stuff out. So it doesn't get on the same level. All right, so now I have an outline of a clover and I'm going to rub it in some paint and put it on the paper and see what we get. And since it's so big, I'm just gonna use a paintbrush. Okay, so now I have a stamp and I'm gonna put it on my paper. That yeah, didn't come out like I hoped, but it's still pretty good. Another thing that's fun is the mushroom shape. So I'm gonna use a toothpick to hold that and I'm gonna dip it in some paint. Make sure I got a little mushroom shape there. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle of my bell pepper. Kinda tap it down to make sure everything touched it. Eh, I'll try it again. There we go, that's better. Maybe I'll do another mushroom too. Here's one that's shaped kind of like a kidney bean or a lima bean, so I'm gonna try that one in green. All right, now I don't know if you know this, but most times when you cut an apple, you cut it like that. But if you cut it sideways, there's a special shape inside. Especially if you go right through the core you get a little star. So we're gonna see if we can get that star to show up in our paint. I'm not gonna paint the whole thing since I just wanna get the star. Well, kinda. Let's try the other half. Oh, that's a little bit better. And obviously if you practice, you'll get better and better at this. Another kind of cool thing you can do is you can chop a potato in half And then you can use a pocket knife to carve out a little stamp. So I'm going to carve out a couple of holes. Make them kind of big so that it's more obvious what they are. And then I'm gonna to try to make a smiley face. All right, so we have a smiley face. We'll see how that turns out. I'm gonna try drying it off. See if maybe that helps with the paint. There you go. <laughs> then later when that dries, I can take some black magic marker and put little eyeballs in it if I want to. If you don't want to cut your fruit or vegetable, you can also find fruits and vegetables that have really neat outsides. Like I'm going to try this corn here. Because they have all those really cool kernels and I'll see what it looks like when I pull 
the shucks off and just have the kernels. Okay, so we'll see what this does with all these little squares. So that makes some little interesting shapes. And you could do that across the whole paper if you wanted to. Another one I wanted to try is pineapple because it's got some really neat little shapes on the outside. So we'll try and see what we get with that. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cut into it at all and then when I'm done playing with it, I could probably still eat it. This is a good activity to do on long summer days or rainy days when the kids are looking for something to do. So parents, since it does involve sharp knives for some of these, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're there when your kids are using them. But you can use this not just on drawing paper, you can also use it on wrapping paper and you can wrap gifts in it. You could make little greeting cards. So use your imagination and have fun with this any way you wanna see it. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.